Footballers are some of the most skilled athletes in the world, but sometimes it doesn't look that way. Today, we're going over some of the biggest football player flops of the season, starting with his Charlison. He's recently been signed by Tottenham Hotspurs for a whopping 50 million pounds. With that amount of money, you know he's gotta be good and make goals game after game. He's been in the spotlight after consistently proving his prowess with Everton and Watford in the Premier League. He was seen as the missing piece of the Tottenham Hotspur squad and was expected to form the best trio with Harry Kane and Sun Huang Min. Unfortunately, in his 27 appearances, the striker has only managed to score two goals. I bet Tottenham wants their money back, but nothing compares to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Obama who? Obama what? Obama Black Lion. If you're a real fan, you know what I'm talking about. This was really famous back when Obama Young was Arsenal's star man, until things took a turn for the worse. It's been really ugly for the Gabonese since he was recently excluded from the Champions League Chelsea squad. Who would have imagined this? Obama Young's career has been a complete roller coaster ride as he's gone from Arsenal's main man to a Barcelona and Chelsea flop. When he moved to Chelsea, he was given the number 9, which is considered curse in Stamford Bridge. The likes of Fernando Torres, Morata, and Lukaku all failed and struggled while wearing number 9. Looks like history repeated itself because the moment he arrived at Stamford Bridge, he was an instant failure and only managed to score one goal in 11 appearances. Maybe the 12 million was too much. Obama Young was promised the spot in Chelsea by the manager to hell, but he was sadly sacked. The new manager Potter wasn't having it and didn't fancy a 33-year-old player, so he just benched him game after game. In May 2022, he did the only thing left and was basically forced to retire. A sad ending but not as sad as Khalidou Koulibaly. His dreams came true when he finally got to play in the Premier League. While at Napoli, he was one of the best defenders in the world, even being compared to the likes of Virgil van Dijk and prime Sergio Ramos. Chelsea paid £33 million for the defender, plus £160,000 per week, and yet he has often fallen behind the pace of the Premier League. The Senegalese defender has been performing so poorly that the manager prefers starting young Badi Alashil over him, crushing his dreams. Just like Marc Cucarella, who is one of the most surprising big deals of the 2022-2023 summer transfer window. After a transfer tussle with Manchester City, the Spaniard signed with Blues for a record £62 million. Cucarella was seen as a replacement for the injured Ben Chilwell at the start of the season for Chelsea but Cucarella hasn't been able to stitch the same magic as he did at Brighton. He was supposed to be an attacking fullback, but doesn't attack or bring in the crosses needed for Chelsea. A complete waste of money. Just like Felipe Cochinio, he was once on top of the world while at Liverpool. He was so good that Liverpool sold him to Barcelona for a staggering fee of £143 million. Cochinio was the perfect man for Barca, until things took a turn for the worse, being labeled a flop. But there was some hope with an impressive loan spell at Aston Villa. The club made his stay permanent for $21 million last summer. But the Brazilian's return to the Premier League hasn't turned out to be a fairy tale redemption. Cuccinho is yet to provide any assist or score any goals in 18 appearances for them this season. He's just as useful as a bench player like Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling's transfer to Chelsea this season was seen as a big step in the Englishman's career to establish his supremacy after coming out of the shadow of Manchester City glamour and Pep Guardiola. The Blues signed him for £50 million and looked set to take up the lead role in Chelsea's attack. Sadly, Sterling has failed to live up to expectations. In 16 appearances, he only scored 4 goals and 2 assists. A complete 180 compared to someone who scored 131 goals for Manchester City during his prime. Calvin Phillips was once one of England's best midfielders, but that all changed this season. He played an important role in Leeds United and the English national team. But after arriving at Efidad for $50 million, his career has taken a big drop. The English midfielder has made only three appearances for Manchester City without a single start, probably because of his physical issues. He's not only been struggling with injuries, but also being overweight. These have been a major role for his criticism at Manchester City, but he wasn't the only one getting injured. Paul Pogba couldn't stop getting hurt ever since he signed a contract with Juventus. 
It's like he's cursed, which is why he's only been playing less than half of a football match. Even though Juventus was lucky to get him on a free transfer, they still pay the France midfielder £160,000 per week. Someone who wasn't so lucky was Darwin Nunez, who broke Liverpool's transfer record to bring him during this summer transfer window for £85 million. His form for Benfica last season was eye-catching, which made him an attractive target to replace Bayern Munich-bound Sadio Mane. However, Liverpool has been missing Maine more than they have enjoyed Nunez so far. The Uruguay international has been missing so many open chances that Klopp decided to buy Cody Gakpo, another striker for Liverpool, to bring in more competition and make Nunez stay away from his comfort zone. Mahio Mudrik. Chelsea has been top of the day today with another flop. Mudrik, who paid a sizable transfer fee of £88 million to beat Arsenal, and sign him for Shakhtar Donetsk in January. Although Mudrik has a top speed record of 36.6 km per hour this season, he has yet to score a goal for the Blues in 10 appearances. Jesse Lingard Nottingham Forest made an expensive bet on Lingard in their bid to ensure they avoided relegation back to the championship, buying a big name player with years of experience in the Premier League. Sadly, his Premier League career is almost ending. For the 2022-2023 season, he has made 17 appearances and zero goals for Forrest. Jesse Lingard's career has been marked by bad decisions and joining Nottingham Forest looks like the worst of them as the player has been benched game after game only because he couldn't control his balls.